In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get from this these two formulas that the final velocity is initial velocity plus acceleration times time, and then also um, this formula here that x is one half initial velocity plus final velocity times time. Okay, I'm going to show you how to get um, a very important kinematic formula. I'm going to derive the um, the formula that has no final velocity in it. Okay, now this is just final velocity is whatever it starts with. This thing here is just the change in velocity. So this is a very basic formula. That your final velocity is what you start with plus the change, right? This one says that your displacement is, this is essentially the average of your velocity here, right? Vy plus Vf over 2, right? Uh, times the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug this thing in here. Since that equals Vf, I'm just going to plug that in for this guy. Right, so I'm going to have one half vi, and then I just plug this in, right? Plus vi plus at times t, and then we'll distribute the t. We get one half vi t plus vi t plus at squared, right? That's t times this times this times this, right? Uh, and then that equals one half. And then this is 2 vit, right? Plus at squared, right? And then we can distribute the 1 half, and you get uh, that x equals, um, well, 1 half times 2 is, of course, just vit, right? And then 1 half times at squared is 1 half at squared. So if you ever wondered where that formula came from, there it is.